All righty. Hey, friends, how's it going? We are here for book number three of the Mercy Watson series. It's called Mercy Watson Fights Crime. Look at Mercy go. She's so awesome. Let's go ahead and see what crime she fights today. Chapter one. Mercy Watson and Miss Watson, Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson have a pig named Mercy. Each night they sing the pig to sleep. Then they go to bed. Good night, my dear, says Mr. Watson. Good night, my darling, says Miss Watson. Oink, says Mercy. Most nights, Mr. Watson and Miss Watson and Mercy all sleep soundly in their beds. But there was one night when they did not. Chapter 2. Leroy Ninker was a small man. He was a small man with a big dream. Leroy Ninker wanted to be a cowboy. But in the meantime, he was a thief. He was a thief in the kitchen at 5-4 Decklewood Drive. Leroy Ninker was robbing the Yippee-yi-yo, sang Leroy. Everything must go. He grabbed hold of the toaster. He pulled it across the counter toward him. Screech, went the toaster. Shh, said Leroy. He tossed the toaster in his bag. Clack, went the toaster. Shh, said Leroy. Not the toaster. Chapter 3. Screech! Mercy woke up. Screech was the sound of the toaster, scound the toaster made when it was being pulled across the kitchen counter. Mercy Watson loved toast. She particularly loved toast with a great deal of butter on it. Mercy got out of bed. She pricked up her ears and she listened. Mercy heard Mr. Watson snoring. She heard Miss Watson snoring. Who was downstairs making toast? Mercy went to the top of the stairs. She looked down into the darkness. Clang, went the toaster. Clang was the sound the toaster made when Miss Watson turned it upside down to clean out all the crumbs. Somebody was making toast. Mercy went down the dark, dark stairs. She headed for the kitchen. Chapter 4. Leroy Ninker grabbed the blender. He grabbed the clock. He grabbed the cookie jar. yippee i yo he sang as he worked. In you go. He grabbed the juicer. He grabbed the teapot. He grabbed the waffle iron. Grabbing everything. And then Leroy Ninker heard a noise. He turned around. yippee i sang Leroy. Uh-oh. Chapter 5. Mercy looked around. She did not see the toaster. She did not see the bread. She did not see the butter. Instead, Mercy saw a little man wearing a big hat. He was not making toast. Mercy was very disappointed. She was also very tired. She yawned. Good pig, said the man. He nodded. Mercy lay down. She yawned. Again. Nice pig, said the little man. Mercy closed her eyes. yippee i yo the man said softly. Off to sleep you go. Chapter 6. That there, whispered Leroy, is a big pig. He reached into his shirt pocket. He pulled out a butter barrel candy. He unwrapped the candy and put it in his mouth. Leroy thought. It might be a good idea for this cowboy to hit the trail. He picked up his bag. He stopped. Ah, oh, shucks, said Leroy. The pig was blocking his way. There's no room to go around the pig, said Leroy. There's no room to go under the pig. Guess I got to go over the pig. Leroy stepped forward. He flung one leg over the sleeping pig. The pig moved. Leroy froze.
Chapter 7. Mercy woke up. Oink, she said. Easy now, said a voice. Mercy looked out of the corner of her eye. The little man was on her back. Mercy stood up. Steady, girl, said the little man. Mercy shook herself. The little man slid forward. Whoa, there, he said. Mercy smelled something. What was it? Butter? Mercy looked around the kitchen. No bread, no toaster, but she definitely smelled butter. Maybe someone next door was making sugar cookies. Wink, said Mercy. She galloped out the open door. She galloped toward the Lincoln sisters' house. yippee i yo shouted Leroy Ninker. Away we go. Chapter 8. Upstairs at 5-4 Deckawoo Drive, Mr. Miss Watson woke up. Mr. Watson, she said. Mmm, said Mr. Watson. Did you hear a noise? said Miss Watson. What sort of noise, dear? A yippee-yi-yo sort of noise, said Miss Watson. No, I did not hear a yippee-yi-yo sort of noise, said Mr. Watson. You were dreaming, my dear. I was? said Miss Watson. You were, said Mr. Watson. Go back to sleep. Miss Watson got out of bed. I think that I will go and check on Mercy, she said. And then I will go back to sleep. Excellent, mumbled Mr. Watson. A top-notch plan, my dear. Mr. Watson started to snore. Chapter 9. Inside the Lincoln sister's house, baby Lincoln woke up. She went into her sister Eugenia's room. Sister, wake up, baby said. There is somebody outside shouting yippee yi yo Did you have pie before bed again? asked Eugenia. I did not, said baby. I think you did, said Eugenia. I did not, said baby. Go back to your room immediately, said Eugenia. Yes, sister, said baby. Baby went back to her room. She got into her bed. She heard another yippee yi yo Oh dear, said baby. I wish I had not eaten that pie. Chapter 10. yippee yo Baby, shouted Eugenia. Come back here immediately. Baby got out of bed. She went into Eugenia's room. Yes, sister, said baby. Did you hear that noise, said Eugenia. Was it a yippee yo sister? It was, said Eugenia. You're dreaming, said baby. Nonsense, Eugenia, said Eugenia. Open the curtain. Baby opened the curtain. Together, the Lincoln sisters watched Mercy gallop across the lawn. They watched the little man on her back take his cowboy hat off and wave it over his head. yippee yi yo the little man shouted. That pig is disturbing the peace, said Eugenia. And so is the cowboy riding her. I am calling the police. Oh, sister, said Baby. Are you sure it's not a dream? It's a nightmare, said Eugenia. That is what it is. Chapter 11. Next door, Miss Watson discovered that Mercy was not in her bed. Mr. Watson, which she shouted, Come at once. Mr. Watson came at once. Mercy is not here, said Miss Watson. Are you certain? asked Mr. Watson. Have you looked under the bed? Miss Watson bent over. She looked under the bed. She is not there, said Miss Watson. Mr. and Mrs. Watson stood together in Mercy's room. What should we do? asked Miss Watson. yippee i It's that noise again, said Miss Watson. Mr. Watson went over, went to the window. He opened the curtain. He looked outside. Miss Watson, said Mr. Watson, we must call the fire department immediately. It's an emergency. Chapter 12. In reality, Leroy Ninker was a small thief on the back of a big pig. But in Leroy's mind, he was a cowboy riding a buck and bronco in the Wild West. Being a cowboy is hard work, said Leroy Ninker. I need some refreshment. Leroy Ninker and Leroy reached into his shirt pocket. He grabbed hold of a butter barrel candy.
He unwrapped it with one hand. He put it in his mouth. Ah, said Leroy Nigger. This is the life. But just then the pig kicked up her heels. The pig bucked. The pig reared. Leroy Nigger lost his grip. Yippee, said Leroy. He flew through the air. Aye, said Leroy. He leaned on his back. Oh, said Leroy Nigger. Chapter 13. Mercy sniffed. There was the, that, that delightful smell again. Butter. Where was it coming from? She looked around. She saw the little man lying on the ground. She sniffed his face. Hee <laughs> hee, the little man said. That tickles. Mercy snuffled the man's shirt. Hee <laughs> hee, he said again. In order to snuffle the man better, Mercy sat on top of him. Hee <laughs> hee, get off of me, said the man. Mercy put her snout, snoot in the man's shirt pocket. She snuffled some more. Oh, hee hee, the little man. Help. Mercy found a piece of candy. She bit into it. It was sweet. It was lovely. It was very, very buttery. Mercy sat on top of the little man and chewed. A siren wailed. Ah, oh, shucks, said the man. Chapter 14. The fire department arrived first. We had been to his, this house before, said the fireman named Ned. You're right, said the fireman named Lorenzo. This is the house with the pig and the toast, said Ned. We ate toast at his house. I see the pig, said Lorenzo. He pointed at Mercy. The pig is sitting on someone. Good grief, said Ned. Ned and Lorenzo got out of the fire truck. They saw Mr. and Mrs. Watson running out the front door of their house. They saw Eugenia Lincoln and baby Lincoln running out the front door of their house. This is an interesting job, isn't it? Said Ned. Very interesting, said Lorenzo. Chapter 15. Officer Tamilio pulled into the driveway of 5 4 Decawoo Drive. In the yard, he saw two firemen, three women in nightgowns, and one man in pajamas. They were all gathered around a pig. Is that the same pig I caught driving a convertible? He asked himself. It is, he answered himself. It is exactly the same pig. Officer Tamilio squinted. Is that pig sitting on top of somebody? Officer Tamilio asked himself. That certainly looks to be the case. He asked and answered himself. Officer, officer, shouted baby. Come quickly, Mercy has caught a thief. Mr. Watson and Miss Watson and Eugenia Lincoln and baby Lincoln and Ned and Lorenzo and Officer Tamilio all looked down at Mercy. Are you a thief? Officer Tamilio asked the man underneath the pig. I am, said Leroy Ninker. I am a thief. Were you robbing these people? Officer Tamilio asked. I was, said Leroy Ninker, until the pig got involved. Gentlemen, said Officer Tamilio, will you assist me in removing the pig? On the count of three, Ned and Lorenzo and Officer Tamilio lifted Mercy off of Leroy Ninker. You are under arrest, said Officer Tamilio. It's that pig you should be arresting, said Eugenia Lincoln. Leroy Ninker stood with his cowboy hat in his hand. He looked down at his feet. Oh, officer, said Miss Watson, the thief is so tiny. Shouldn't he have something to eat before you arrest him? Maybe he needs some toast, said Ned. With a great deal of butter on it, added Lorenzo. Toast, said Officer Tamilio. Who needs toast? Why, everyone needs toast, said Miss Watson. Even cowboys, said Leroy. Mercy pricked up her ears. Toast? Butter? At last! She headed for the Watson's kitchen, and everyone followed her. Chapter 16. The next morning, the front page of the newspaper read, Pet Pig Captures Thief. Sits on him until help arrives. She's a porcelain wonder, said the pig's owner. 
Miss Watson. She is very, very brave, dear, said Mr. Watson, husband of Miss Watson and proud co-owner of the pig. She is a sly pig, said the Watson's neighbor, Eugenia Lincoln, and things with her are very, never as they seem. Baby Lincoln, sister to Eugene Lincoln, Eugenia Lincoln, remarked that the most interesting things seem to happen when one has pie right after, right before bed. The pig did capture the thief, said police officer Bert Emilio. How it happened? I am not certain, but did it happen? It did. Fireman Ned Fortune and Lorenzo were also at the scene. They both agreed that the pig had some amazing abilities. They also pointed out that Miss Watson made excellent toast. The thief, Leroy Ninker, is interested in reforming himself. He would like to become a cowboy. The pig had nothing to say, but she seemed very pleased with herself. Thanks for listening, friends. See you next one.